Hello everyone, welcome to Amos's Premiere Elements Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be going over what a keyframe is and some of the cool things you can do with them. Let's get this tutorial started. So, first things first, what is a keyframe? Well, the definition of a keyframe is a marker that marks the beginning and the end of a transition. Now, that might not make a lot of sense, and that's okay, but once I show an example, it'll be easier to understand. Uh, before I show you the, you the example, I want to point out this. So if you click on this, it shows you a bunch of drop downs of effects that you can keyframe. Right now it's set to motion position, but there's also things like scale and rotation. And basically what motion position does is it sets the position of the box in the video. And right now it's kind of high up there. And now for example, say that we want to move this box down. So, the transition would be from here to down here. So first, this is the keyframe button, and if you click it, it sets a keyframe, as you can see. And this keyframe marks the position of the box right here. And if we move our time marker to the very end, uh, we can move this down. And you can see here, it automatically set another keyframe and over here it shows the path that the box takes so now if we play the video you'll see that the box moves from up here to down here because it moves from the first keyframe to the second keyframe now let's do a, let's do another example uh this time let's do uh motion oh oops this time let's do motion and then scale and we'll move this to the center. So first of all, uh, let's say that we want the box to be a little bigger by the end of the clip, so it'll expand. So first, let's set the beginning of the transition, which is by clicking a keyframe. And the beginning of the transition is that the box is small. So if we move the marker to the very end, we want it to be bigger. So I'll just expand this. And once again, it creates another keyframe. So now we have uh, the beginning of the transition which is when the box is small and the end of the transition when the box is big so if we play it you'll see that it expands moving from the first to the second once again so that's basically what a keyframe is and now let's move on to some of the cooler things that you can do with them using what we using what I just taught you about keyframes I set up this box again using motion and then position this effect and basically what it does it, it co is it comes down and then it stays stationary for the rest of the clip. Now if you come down here to the clip you see that this this bar is higher up than this bar and that's because the bar measures how fast the box is moving in the video. So if it's moving fast then the bar will be higher and if it's moving slow the bar will be lower down. And that's why over here when it's stationary it's like at the bottom and when it's moving it's uh, elevated a little higher now if we click on the keyframe you'll see that these two handlebars uh, pop up and these handlebars will let us adjust the speed at which the box moves because right now it's kind of boring it's just like uh, the same speed the same speed and then stop and that's kind of boring so say we want to have an ease out effect like it starts fast and then it slows down slows down slows down until it stops and we can do that by using these handlebars so if we click on this handlebar and drag it down you'll see that already the the speed bar uh, comes down with it and if we extend this you'll see that the the bar like evens out a little more and if we play this and if you watch the box you'll see that it has a smooth slowdown I'll play that again it has a smooth slowdown and that's pretty cool and now if I just reset that and also we also we can do ease in so say instead of ease out you want it to come in slowly and then speed up before stopping then we'll just take this handlebar drag it down and then extend it out and now if we play it you'll see that it eases in so for the remainder of this video I'll just set up some cool things that you can do with the transition between keyframes and I won't ha I won't uh, like do a step by step because I'm pretty sure that by just looking at it you'll be able to get a good sense of how to do it.
So the first thing here is sort of like it speed it starts really slow and then it picks up speed, picks up speed, gets really intense over here and then drops. So I'll show you what that looks like. Yeah, so that kind of looks like gravity. Like you start slow and then you pick up speed and then wham, you hit the ground. The second thing is pretty much the opposite. Like it starts really fast and then there's a really quick slowdown until it's stopped over here. So if you play that, you'll see that that looks pretty cool. So for this one, the bar kind of looks like a mountain. Like it starts slow here, picks up speed, gets really fast and then slows down again. So this effect is kind of like the ease in and ease out. I'll show you what it looks like. Like ease in, ease out. Starts in, comes in slow, speeds up and then comes out slow. You can take this ease in, ease out effect and make it really intense by just extending these handlebars and making them longer. So, I'll just make a really intense jump. Like you see here, the, the point is really spiky. So if we play that, you'll see that, that that was really fast. So clearly, as I've shown, there's so much freedom that you have with keyframes. Like, just by looking at uh, how I position these handlebars, you can do all of these things yourself. And if you're like a speed editing and you don't have time to work with these handlebars, you can always just right click the keyframe and there's a standard ease in and ease out effect. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and if you found it helpful, then make sure you drop a like. Have fun editing.